All right, you guys should know my name is Joe Arroyo, your coach, and I'm making this video to share with you um, this time block sheet, which by now you should have a copy of in your email and print it out. And what you'll see here is there's a series of block blocks that are different colors. And I want to explain to you how to use this because it's very important that you use this every single work day that you're working uh, because there'll be a lot of accountability tools, kind of accountability uses between you and I over the next couple months. If you do this right, then what you'll have at the end of three months is you will have built the ability to spend between 15 to 20 hours a week focused on your key primary business building objectives, your one thing objectives, your essentialist success list, as we call it here. And you start stacking up box after box after box and week after week after week into a couple months of focused efforts and objectives towards hitting a single goal, which is ramping up your production, and uh, you're gonna see phenomenal results. So I've developed this over the last couple months and have been using it for myself. I've always had trouble with really quantifying the quality, not just the quantity, but the quality of my effort in individual time blocks to achieve objectives. And uh, this is the first system that I have found that makes that happen for you. So let me explain real quick what a block is. Each one of these blocks represents 25 minutes. Uh, 25 minutes of focused work time. And because I wanna make sure that I know what focused work time is and what 25 minutes uh, actually looks like, I have gone out and I bought a timer and uh, I knew I was gonna keep it for a while so I wanted a high quality timer. And I set it. 25 minutes and you should be able to hear the ticking. That ticking noise, while very annoying up front, actually is the very noise that draws you back into focused production, focused activity every time your mind starts to wander away. And if you remember in the One Thing book, every 14 seconds we have a new thought, so we have a lot of opportunities in a 25 minute block to wander, right? You start to wander, I hear gentle ticking, oh yeah, I'm in a time block right now, get back on task. Uh, and a time block for 25 minutes is indivisible, okay? So I can't say, I can't pause this thing, there is no pause button. I can't say, oh yeah, I forgot to get a cup of water, let me pause it. It doesn't work that way. I can't say, oh, I need to use the restroom real quick, or I need to check my email, or take this phone call, or any distraction whatsoever is not able to be accepted when this clock is ticking and you're working on a focused time block. Uh, and that's what makes it so powerful, is that it helps you clarify, again, the quality of the effort you're putting in. Once it rings, you get a five minute break, okay? So each one of these blocks counts as 25 minutes focused activity and a five minute break. If you're feeling like rock star for the day and you are totally focused and zeroed in, you can stack up to two 25 minute blocks in a row for a total of 50 minutes of work and then take a 10 minute break. So that's if you are totally blowing away and focused. I'll share with you though what happens most times. Well, I, I probably get two or three of those, two or three double blocks as I call them. I feel great when I sign off on them. Uh, I probably get two or three of those a week. What happens most of the time is around minute 19, I'm like, holy smokes. How long is this thing left? I can't focus anymore. I look at it, I see I have six minutes left, and I'm like, all right, I can do six minutes. And I finish my block. So once I do 25 minutes, undivided, no distractions whatsoever, if I accept a distraction, the block is void. If I, I, if I try and uh, get to minute 23 and then take an incoming phone call because it's that client I really need to talk to, guess what? The block doesn't count. Why is that? Well. It's about the integrity of the block, first of all. Second, it's about training your brain to be able to focus for 25 minutes without going monkey brain on you and taking distractions all over the place. What I found is after a while, my brain now knows how to spend 25 minutes focused without being all over the place every couple of minutes. It's pretty, uh, pretty incredible. You gotta train your brain to do that though. So that's a block. Every time you finish one, you sign off on it. The success list. You'll see on your sheet you have written above the, uh, the lines here, the essentialist success list. And let me tell you what that is. That is not your to-do list. Uh, in fact, if you've read the one thing or the book, The Essentialist, or the book Made to Stick, you'll know that very often your to-do list is the opposite. 
It is the 80%. It is the opposite of your success list. This is your focus success list for the week on what actions you could actually count as dollar productive activities. Those actions that if you did them, everything else would be easier or unnecessary, right? So like in the real estate business, business development and lead generation, if we go out there and make uh, 75 contacts voice to voice, we know statistically speaking that that will result in one closed transaction. We also know that we'll get between eight and 10 people who we can put into our database from those 75 contacts and that database, what does that do? Makes everything else easier or unnecessary if we actually nurture it, because over time it will produce incredible results. So that would be a green time block, 25 minutes of focused activity on doing your business development or lead generation. Makes sense? So the success list for the week then, let's say I know I wanna do 50 deals in a year, and I'm just doing simple math here for you. Let's say I wanna do 50 deals in a year, and I, that means I need to talk to 75 people a week. Well, then my essentialist success list, one of those is going to be to have made 75 voice-to-voice -voice contacts. And I'm going to sign off on as many 25-minute blocks as I need to to make sure that that 75 happen. My next one would be I want to make sure I add 10 people out of those contacts to my database. And so, again, I'm focusing these green time activities on getting those 10 people added to the database. Pretty pretty powerful, and then let's say I know that I'm really lacking on the quality of my listing presentation. I need a, a, a pre-listing package because that's the standard in the market that you're operating in and you need to uh, really improve the one that you have. Well then, after your voice-to-voice, -voice, belly belly-to-belly contacts and your database is done, then the very next one could be, now I'm gonna spend green time focused, priority time on improving my listing package. Make sense? Good. Thank you for the feedback. Um, so, gosh, I'm cracking myself up. Um, so, that's my success list for the week. It's one focused effort at a time. It's not something that you're hopping all over the place on. Does that make sense? Success list. Okay, great. Now, you'll notice there's more than just green time blocks. We have other energy systems here that we're working on. You'll see spiritual space, exercise, task processing, and green time. And so I want to break those down for you briefly. Spiritual space is, for me, it means I get up, read the Bible, read a book on um, you know, whatever it is that I'm reading at the time, make sure that I spend some time in prayer and meditation before I get on with the day, because it helps me uh, get grounded and to get a level of energy I can't get from, from anywhere else. And having worked with you for so long, I know that the same is true for you. When we don't feed our mind, when we don't feed our soul, uh, we have an energy system that is seriously off and we start to lose calibration on where it is that we are and why we're doing what we're doing, right? So you want to make sure you, you get that in, you sign off on it. Spiritual space is not necessarily a 25 minute time block. Call it 10 minutes for you if you want, but standardize it. Make it 10, make it 15, make it 50. Whatever it is, make it a block that'll work for you. All right, so that's spiritual space. The next block you see is exercise. Listen, exercise is a chemical bath for the brain. When you and I are talking and your energy is down and you're feeling down and you know all of these challenges seem so big uh, that it robs you of your energy to go out and make these projects happen, these blocks happen, one of the best ways you can get back on track is to change your physiology. In fact, there is a great bold law that motion equals emotion, or another way to say it is that emotion follows motion. So if you're feeling down, that listing didn't come through that you thought it would, uh, you know, something happened, the realtor partner that you thought was going to do business with you isn't doing business with you now, you didn't get that loan, whatever it may be, I want you to know that the best way you can change that in that moment is to change your state, change your physiology, and emotion follows your emotion. Get some exercise in, at least make that block 10 minutes, preferably 25. Then we have processing. David Allen, productivity guru, has a great quote where he says, listen, if um, you are having trouble figuring out what it is to do, or you have a big problem you're working on, go clean your garage, right? Because it creates mental space. Well, this is you cleaning up 
your email inbox, your phone, it's cleaning up your desk, it's taking 25 focused minutes, not an actual doing, an actual just organizing, okay, uh, here's the emails, if you can respond to that email quick, great, if you need to make some decisions on it, make a note, it's just kind of cleaning up what you're doing for your work and your surroundings, very, very important. And then that's all to set you up to make a productivity specific environment for you to do your green time blocks. You'll notice ever so cleverly concealed, there's three lighter colored green blocks. And these lighter color, you may ask, why is it a lighter color and the others are darker? Well, these are three to remind you that to start your green time blocks for the week, these are on your planning and prep. And in fact, this is where you start this whole chart for the week ahead. Timer went off. So that's a great sound, by the way, when you want that timer to go off. Uh, so a, a lighter green block is 25 minutes of focused plan and prep time where you are seeking to ask the question of what is my essentialist success list for this week? Phenomenally important that you do this, these three green blocks or these green blocks will not be nearly as successful in their implementation. Again, three strategy blocks for the week ahead for you to write your success list down here of here are the key projects, my number one priority that I will accomplish this week, what is it that this week needs to be about so that I can do what? Whatever it is that you're working on, okay? Very important. And then the next is your green time block. And that is actual, this is dollar productive activities. This is the important and not urgent. This is the area where you get to say, this is not my to-do list, this is my success list. I'm gonna go out, create space, make time for me. It's 25 focused minute, anyone can do that. I can do it, you can do it, you can focus for 25. You take that green time task, you bear down and you do it. And that's the block sheet. You'll notice here, and we'll be getting into this a lot as we work together, there's clarity of goal, clarity of action, clarity of results. When you have all three of these working together, this sheet becomes even more meaningful. And that's where we know what the purpose is that we're building these blocks towards. We know what our actions will be to accomplish that purpose. And then we have accountability through you and I to what the results are. And to, to the actions that produce the results. Very powerful, and you'll notice one last thing, because this will be written in actual typed letters on yours. This here says, my only power is in this moment. Right now, and right now, I choose dot, dot, dot. Think about that. The only power we have is right here, in this moment, where we are at. The decisions we make as we go into each block will be what absolutely determine our ability to accomplish this essentialist success list and get you to where you want to go. So don't worry about yesterday. Don't worry about tomorrow. Think about how do I put in the best block, create space for where you're at right now. It's the only power you have and it is very powerful. So use it. That's the blocks. So now that uh, you understand what the time block sheet actually looks like and what it means, I want to show you how we're going to use this as an accountability tool. First of all, uh, every week for our either group coaching or one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, I want a complete week's list of your, of your sheet. So I want to see the daily sheet. This is an example of the daily sheet uh, that you would fill out and I want to see your, your, your sheet for the week as well. Um, to be in by the time we have our group coaching or our one-on-one. -on -one. And also, we're going to have group accountability. It's a powerful way to share and listen, no judgment, no criticism. This is all about us recognizing that putting in uh, 41 half-hour blocks for 20 focused hours a week is not easy to do. And we're working this discipline into our lives till it becomes a habit. And so every day, we want to post this up onto Facebook. Uh, have it posted up by 1 p.m. How many blocks did you get done that day by 1 p.m.? Now, granted, you may get blocks done after 1 p.m. and you can post that the next day and that's great. However, the goal is how many blocks did you get done by 1 p.m. that day? And then also share, so you just take a quick snapshot 
upload it on your phone, share your wins, your insights, your challenges, and uh, we will all benefit from it. If you don't have it up by 1 p.m., uh, you're gonna start to hear from us. We're gonna start to text message you or email you to have it turned in and uh, to be able to share it. So the way you get in the Facebook group is you accept my friend request. Um, I invite you to the group. You upload daily. It's that simple. And that's how we know what we're doing and how we're, how we're, uh, how we're growing here. Also on that Facebook group, I will be sharing tips two to three times a week on how to make the most use out of the blocks and, uh, and your green time. So it should be a fun group and by the end of a couple months we've all built a really successful time block list that we're looking towards, looking forwards to.